Hey guys, and I'm here from the Nagwal Zone. Today I want to quickly, briefly touch on something I see a lot, a lot of confusion. And I guess it's kind of natural in a way to be confused about that because the, <clears throat> the term itself is quite confusing. And what I'm referring to is that most basic, basic of skill sets on the Toltec path that you need in the like the basic syllabus and it's called inner silence inner silence now that is confusing you know why because 99% of the time in fact I might struggle to recall anyone I've ever met who's you know uh, starting out or has there's actually most of them are so-called experienced practitioners who are interpreting inner silence as trying to control your mind or uh, do away with thoughts on in some manner or the other so stop thoughts stop thinking or weird practices uh, uh, aberrations you know uh, born out of misunderstanding and ignorance and most of all lack of good training books ain't gonna cut it guys books don't cut it just knowing Gastaneda and his beautiful story is not going to make you any adept at inter in inner silence. So, <clears throat> inner silence, you got to watch out for two things. First off, do not do this. Do not do this. Do not make your mind and your thoughts your enemy. Because they're not. It's a natural process. It's kind of like me making snakes my enemy or spiders my enemy or slugs my enemy or sharks my enemy it makes no sense it's insane behavior in the same way if you make your thoughts your enemy you're behaving insanely I hope that actually makes sense to you because if that doesn't make sense to you you know there's a lot more work to be done before you will even understand the basics of the Toltec system really yeah, I'm, I, I really mean that so first of all your thoughts and your mind are not your enemy and you may have heard this many times from many gurus and read many books about this but you know what you still don't understand do you <laughs> you still don't get it because if you did get it then you'd be on a whole different level by now so <clears throat> two adversaries to watch out for on the Toltec path to inner silence becoming a master of inner silence two adversaries to watch out for one is your attitude towards your thoughts and i'll come back to that in a bit and the second is the quality of your thoughts the quality of your thoughts because one feeds the other one adversary feeds the other right so the quality of your thoughts, if you have low quality thoughts, untrained mind, the mind has been left untrained, feral, just free to roam the wilds of the mental realms with no order in the chaos, then we produce low vibratory thoughts or low quality thoughts. And what happens is that our attitude towards our mind becomes negative we don't like no one likes low quality thoughts no one because that it generates discomfort in the body discomfort in the mind the mind's running rampant can't sleep schizophrenia insomnia all the nias are coming through isms and nias you're suffering from every single one of them you got a medical cabinet bigger than the local ambulance however think about this if your mind had been trained, was trained over a period of time to generate high quality thoughts, thoughts that are of benefit to you and the world around you, the people around you, thoughts that are of ad advantage to you and your environment. Imagine how easy it would be to get behind them, to support them, to feel good about your mind and then how easy would it be to feel relaxed? In fact, relaxed enough to start noticing that you can't do anything about your thoughts 
but there is someone always aware that you are thinking or it is always possible to be aware that you are thinking in my mind or in any trained Toltec's mind it is not possible because we have trained and trained and trained and trained and trained it is not possible to think without being aware of that thought I, I, I am no, I, I haven't been that person that is just off on one, chewing, and the mind is gone, staring into space, or reading the newspaper. Mind is totally gone. I know exactly every conscious thought I think. Every time, all the time, there's an awareness that is always switched on. So we want to work towards that, guys. Hope this clarifies inner silence a bit for you. Or maybe it mystifies it a bit more <laughs> for you. I don't know. But please avoid trying to control your mind, manipulating your mind, your thoughts, and getting frustrated because it didn't happen, or uh, becoming ambitious, like f feeding your ego about these things. There's a different way to go about that, right? So hope this clarifies. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Walk in freedom.